this should be the biggest thing that whoever wins governor should be have to tackle. Flint residents and activists calling on the Flint water crisis to become a focus of the governor race in Michigan. The pro-democratic group is accusing Attorney General Bill Schuette of ignoring complaints to his office in the early stages of the crisis before it eventually became a national news story. And yet here we still are four and a half years into this with no accountability, lots of finger pointing and being referred to when we ask for help as nonsense. So we reached out to the attorney general's office and they responded saying each and every complaint was reviewed by office staff and shared at the time with the Department of Environmental Quality, the state agency with legal authority over drinking water. What was not known at that time was that serious deficiencies existed at the MDEQ, which then resulted in the Attorney General pressing criminal charges against their employees. Flint mother and activist herself, Melissa Mays, was one of the first to sound the alarm on the water crisis and claim Schutte's actions didn't come soon enough. He's hiding behind the crimes. He's charging these people for lying, falsifying reports, but yet he's hiding behind them saying, well, the MDEQ, who he's charging with fraud and everything else, um, the MDEQ didn't tell us it was bad. Well, no, but Flint residents, the people actually living in it did. Meanwhile, Schutte's office has responded, saying he's the only government official to file criminal charges against those in the water crisis and that he's continuing to pursue justice for Flint. But protesters say that's not the issue. That's not even what we're here about. We're about the fact that he okayed it when we complained about it, when we needed justice from our top enforcement official. He was not there. In Flint, Jonathan Jackson, WNEM-TV5.